Hey, welcome back! We are heading back into my Lego Lover house. Uh, if you're brand new here, welcome! We've been building this room by room, uh, each one obviously designated for each era, and last, well, for each album, and last time, I was gonna say last week, we did this little hallway room for folklore. Today, we are adding the little room above it, and we're going to make this, obviously, for the Evermore album. So first up, we always make an outfit for my Taylor Mini doll, which is representative of this particular album, or, well, an iconic outfit from the era's tour. And for Evermore, this fantastic witch like ethereal look with all the fairy tale is fantastic so this is absolutely iconic I know she's got a new dress now but this is you see this you know exactly what we're looking at right so we need this mustardy peasant style dress very cottagecore fantastic and it's all it's kind of um I think it's got little like little gold wheat sheaves on it embroidered all around it so I had a go at making this I actually found this harder than I probably should have I feel like mine's a, it's a little bit messy but that's okay because the whole point is if you look at this outfit it should hopefully be instantly recognizable and I think I've achieved that but the bit that I'm saddest about is that I couldn't get the little frill around her bodice right and I think it's because I put it down a bit too low I put it at her waistline and it is a high-waisted frill but anyway you can look at this and recognize it for what it's supposed to be right right tell me you can I think it's good I color match pretty well the gold little gold bits are really pretty and obviously we need a head and we need a hair so let's Let's try this let's try this out so this is the old style Stephanie head which I will face print which I've put extra eyeliner and her iconic red lipstick onto so I think that looks pretty good but we do need her green velvet cloak oh, I love a cloak they're so romantic and swooshy like if you put a cloak on you can just swoosh around anyway I made a cloak in a previous video when I was demonstrating how I make my custom skirts and capes for mini dolls and minifigures so check that out there's just a little bit of footage from there so I took this one that I made and and I painted it green because I couldn't actually find a green material that would work for this. So I just painted the black one I made green and it works out okay. It's a little bit shiny, but velvet's shiny. So I think we get away with it. So now she has got her cloak and because we'll put her hair on at the moment because it's obviously got a hood, but she takes the hood off and flips it over the back. But when she's got the hood up, we can use this piece which came on the... Wicked Witch in the Snow White set and we can put this on. I painted this dark green already and with added cat hair like everything else in my house and she's fallen over. Sorry, cats will do that. She loves cats. She's fine with some more extra cat hair. It just adds to it. <laughs> okay, and I know she doesn't hold the glowing balls that her, her backup dancers have, but I thought that I would give her one anyway because it just adds to all the witchy etherealness of this. It's the whole... I, I absolutely love this segment of the show. I think it's just so visually aesthetically gorgeous. So I have this piece here, which is obviously not the right color. We need it to be kind of glowing orange, but oh, just FYI, you can put these on mini dolls heads. You shouldn't, but you can. I mean, they look a bit whacked, but it depends what look you're going for. So I, I think I'm just really sad we don't have a translucent orange version of this ball, but we're going to just make this opalescent version work for now. And maybe for the final reveal, when we do the whole house and put it together, I might light it up orange. I'll see if I can do that. That would be really fun. So we've got our outfit. We're going to be putting the Evermore room up on top of this, which is kind of like a walk-in robe. Oh, I forgot to give her her album cover. So every room gets us a picture in it, her, the album of, no, the cover of her album for that particular room. And as she updates each of her albums, to be Taylor's version. I'm updating the albums as well, the pictures in each of the rooms. So we've got this one ready to go. Now we can start on the room itself. So it's only got a little tiny footprint. This is it here. It goes, it has the ladder which goes, it, it like takes her up into the loft, into the attic. And I didn't actually leave any holes in the floor. So it's all just, they're all just there for show, but we've got a whole rack of yellowy orange outfits at the back and the rest is kind of, yeah, nondescript clutter. So I can do that. I'm going to clutter. <laughs> I don't know that we're going to have really a lot of room. So brown flooring and in the image we've got dark brown wood flooring so we can do that. I'm just making sure I leave little spaces so that we can actually put a few things on this floor including the ladder which is supposed to be attached at the top but in this case we're going to be attaching it at the bottom. So down here is where the ladder is going to be going up 
and yeah, I think that's good. And this is going to attach. Yeah, we'll do the ladder in a minute because otherwise it's just going to it's going to obscure everything. Over here on the side, uh, a little bookcase kind of thing. No, like a little shelf kind of thing with random things, probably shoes, hats, purses. I don't know w what's in there. Who knows? We can't really tell from the picture. So we're just making it up. Unfortunately, with this design that I have in those little shelves, you can't put anything in it. But on the top, you've got a little box of something random. And then on the side, we've got a round container of some description. Right. OK, so random stuff. Stuff. Over here at the back, this is important. So we've got a big rack of yellow outfits, of yellow clothes. So I've found all my yellow and goldeny and orangey kind of accessories and capes and stuff. So just getting really a lot of fun to just put this together. So this is going to be one hangy thing here. You need to get the little studs to go into those hooks that have got the holes in them so you can stick the sticks up into it. So there's one using this cape here because it's nice and satiny. You won't see the weird bottom once we hang it up. So put this, put the cape around the little sticks and then we can hang it up and then it's just going to look like yeah, if we can, we can just, these are going to be really, really squished in so that we can get as much as much in the back here because there are a lot of dresses on that rack. So I've got this actual dress here now. I think this is something that Taylor would be happy to wear. Don't tell her that we stole it from Belle. Uh, so this is up here on the back hanger and I'm just going to try and angle it so that we get some nice different dimensions and textures and looks and stuff back here. Nice. And I think we've got room for two more. <laughs> so we are going to see how much we can squish on here. So a little short yellow cape. I just like the fact that we're having different shapes and like heights and lengths and stuff. It just makes it look really interesting rather than just having a whole heap of structured bricks. We get, yeah, uh, yeah, it's a, a different look. This is much more visually, visually interesting like this. Okay. So we've got this one and then we've got this really light yellow little cape which was, if you have it on the other side, it's like an ermine overlay for one of, I can't remember, I think it was for one of the Disney minifigures, but it looks really nice when we put it just with the light yellow side facing forwards and we pop this on the clip. And then I think we have got as much as we can possibly fit on here. And I think it looks really great. This is perfect. <laughs> this worked out really nicely. Now we've got to put it on the wall. So we've got this this little, this, this brick with a stud in it facing forwards, the open stud, and then we need to get it at the right height. Now the walls in this room are just simply white. So we are going to whitey McWhite white up this room as hard as we can, leaving the back with that little hollow, which means we can fit more things in. I think it needs to be up. Yeah, I want to make this up another brick higher, I think. There, that looks really great. And then on the other side, I'm going to have a brick with a forward facing stud, you know, it's not a uh, stud's not on top forward facing this way. Well, inward facing, but I, I can't quite get it to sit in there. It doesn't really matter. It's there for visuals. It's actually secure on the other side. So it doesn't matter that we're not getting that rod quite into the hole. I'm going to keep telling myself that because it's really bugging me, but now, nah. so ladder over here. We want this to sit at a height where it actually reaches up to the ceiling of the next level. So I'm going to attach it like this. And this also kind of gives the idea that it's pulled down from the top because the bottom is less substantial than the top. Does that make any sense? Kind of, kind of. Oh, I don't know. I think I might be reaching, but that's fine. Okay. And now we just need to basically make all the walls white and make sure I remember to put in a place to, to hang up the album cover because I keep forgetting to do that. I don't know why I keep forgetting. They look so good in the room adding the, oh, hold on. We need that to be one brick higher, I think. Let's grab this, grab this album cover, pop it on the wall. Look at that. Doesn't that just make that wall look so good? <laughs> I love it. Okay. There should really be a little basket down there at the base of where the ladder is because that's quite prominent in the in the video clip, but I just can't fit it in. I just cannot figure out how I would fit this in. I also need some holes at the bottom because I'm going to need to I'm going to need to start thinking about attaching all these rooms together to make one big substantial house rather than just lots of individual rooms. So I'm going to have to do little minor modifications. So I'm already doing these with the new ones so that I know that I'm going to be putting little Technic pins in here. They're going to line up on the rooms on either side. Nice. Okay. Backfilling the holes that I have. I have left over at the top and then we're just going to put smooth tiles all the way along the top because this top piece is not going to need to attach to anything because the attic is attaching to the pink and the blue room on either side, I think. Okay. All right. Nice, simple little room, but uh, such a great pop of color. You know, I love yellow. So this just room brings me so much glee and joy. <laughs> so we'll pop our little 
I need to make a display for all of my custom Tay Tay outfits because I can only have one with the head on at the time. Well, two, because I have the other head with the polymer clay hair that I made as well. But all the rest, they're just outfits. So I'm going to have to think on that as well. So many thoughts. But let's get let's get this room just... We're not going to install it properly on the top. I'm just going to pop it on the top of this middle section so you can see that it does fit. It's going to be at the right height because I want a big reveal when we put all of these rooms together. And I'm going to do it with Millie, I think because I made this for her so she hasn't seen all of these so it's gonna be very very exciting and we're so close now because all we have left is Midnight's which incidentally is Millie's favorite album she loves the outfit so I need to make sure that I nail that on the mini doll and Midnight's is going to be the roof the roof line so that shouldn't be too hard right 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 <laughs> ah wish me luck and I promise we'll do it soon I shouldn't make promises I can't necessarily keep but I'm on it I'm on it so we are so close to finishing this and putting it all together so make sure you are subscribed and click the little notification bell so you get a little ding when it comes up because you don't want to miss it we are this has been so many months in the making and we are so close to finality it's very very exciting all right <laughs> leave me a comment let me know your thoughts and check back in because there are more videos coming up soon so I will see you then